actually turned down a couple of people who have come to me saying, you know, a bankroll is a couple thousand bucks. Let me buy your book because I like your videos. You know what you're talking about. And I'm like, well, if you only have a couple thousand dollars to your name, I mean, you just need to be playing. You don't need to spend so much of your bankroll because, you know, it's going to up your risk of ruin way too much. But, uh, yeah, it, it's for the serious player. I would say someone who plays 100 no limit and above probably professionally who's putting in a decent amount of volume each month to make the investment worth it. So that's number one. Uh, number two, it's uh, a good investment because I teach people about a good approach to poker and not just the system. So systems kind of get worn down over time because other people learn them. Other people watch the, the poker training video that says do this when this happens. And once everyone's seen that video or once everyone's called on to the strategy, the strategy is Mood. So if you know how to form strategies and counter strategies, that's much more valuable, and that's what I try to teach in this book. I, I guess you can get really what you want out of poker, which is what makes it so cool, and it has such a big draw for a wide audience. But for me, I enjoy helping teach people poker and to be visible you know, on the internet and uh, in magazines, things like that. It really help with being able to reach those types of people who are kind of stuck in the spot. You need some advice. Uh, I get the uh, sense that you're the type of guy that once you started playing online poker, it was just onward and upward. You just kept winning right from day one. At uh, what point did you say to yourself, hey, I'm making some pretty decent money here. And, you know, forget about med school, because I, I know that was your, your original plan. Forget about med school. I think I could make it in this business. At what point did that happen for you? Yeah, it was pretty soon. I guess it was about toward the end of my sophomore year. So I'd been playing for about two years at that point. Playing no limit hold them anyway. And started making about uh, ten to 15000 every month and felt like that was a pretty decent time to call up mom and dad and say, <laughs> this is what I'm thinking about, and I uh, get the feedback from it. It took a lot of time to study the game. I bought The Theory of Poker as well as a couple other books, but The Theory of Poker is by far and away my favorite book at the time. Why would you say that's your favorite book? What, what about that book made it your favorite? It was just really good from where I was at the time, which was kind of uh, a beginning player and had a nice overview of a bunch of subjects from a theoretical standpoint, and I felt like that's really what helped me get going. Help me ask myself a lot of questions.